Flow number one. Let's start simple. Imagine you want to know every time someone uploads a new file to your SharePoint or Teams site. Instead of checking constantly, Power Automate can email you instantly. If you haven't already navigated to your Power Automate environment, go to make.powerautomate.com in your browser. Click on My Flows in the side toolbar, then click on New Flow and select Automated Cloud Flow. Let's call it something like Notify me when a file is uploaded. The trigger here is the action that starts our automated flow. We're going to search for when a file is created for SharePoint. The next view we'll land on is our canvas, and you'll notice our trigger here shows as module. As we work through our flow, we're going to add subsequent modules or steps to our automation. Now, you may notice this invalid parameters alert when you land on the canvas. And if we click on it, we get this little pop-out window. We see that site address and folder ID are both required. Power Automate is just asking us to define the location of the SharePoint folder where our new files are going to be added. I've already set up my SharePoint site, so I'll select that as my site address. If you're not seeing your SharePoint site, you can try entering in the URL manually. When you found your site, you can come down to the library name section and select where your folder will be located. If you're like me and your folder location is embedded within documents, you can come down to advanced parameters and select folder, and then select the specific folder where your files will be uploaded. At this point, we're ready to create our next action, or the next step in our automation, after a new file has been added to the SharePoint folder. We'll start this by clicking on the plus sign in our canvas, and then we're going to search for send an email, since we want an email notification to be sent when the new file is added. Here, we're going to fill out the details about our email notification. For instance, I'm going to use my email address as the recipient since I want to receive the notification. For the subject line, I'd like to add a little more information so that I can quickly see the name of the file that has been uploaded. The handy thing about Power Automate is that data like file name, folder location, etc., is stored in variables in our actions, so I can just reference those variables in my notification. To do that, we're going to click our little dynamic icon and we see the variable names pop up. Let's click on name to add that to our subject line. Now let's also say I want to include the folder location where this file has been uploaded so I don't get confused about what's going on. I'll add some helpful text here like has been added to, and then I'll go back to the variable selector and choose folder path. Now some of these other variables may be helpful, but maybe we don't know exactly what they are. One way we can find out is by adding them each as a line to our email body. We'd probably only really do this as a test. Once we figure out exactly what information we want to include in our notification, then we can come back into this flow and clean up our body. I'm just going to add a couple variables and we'll see what we get. Now we can go ahead and click save. And as we can see from this notification here, we're ready to test. To test, we can simply click the test icon and run the manual test. We see this little message here telling us to perform the starting action. So we can add a new file to the SharePoint folder location and we should see our email notification come through. In our email message here, we can see that the file name and the folder location have both been included in the body.